we'll come to the project demonstration of iot energy meter monitoring system so here we are going to monitor the uh, energy meter parameters like kwh reading along with billing details so these two readings will be monitored from anywhere in the world by using thingspeak so in the thingspeak platform we will get the data of like uh, bill in inr and uh, energy meter readings in kwh so kilowatt hour so this will be displayed on the um, lcd screen as well as thingspeak so log into thingspeak and there we can see the iot energy meter just click on that so this is our previous data like field 1 is going to be the kwh and field 2 is the bill in inr format right so this will be there till you erase the old data so it will stay there only so now coming to the kit so we have interfaced the energy meter to the pic 16f73 microcontroller through this pc817 optocoupler so the purpose of optocoupler is so to read the kwh reading we need to access this particular led blinking rate when this led blinking rate is 3200 times then it will consider as a 1 kilowatt hour so that one blinking rate is equal to 1 by 3200 kilowatt hour so to get this blinking rate to the microcontroller instead of directly connection to that we are making use of pc817 is a opto coupler so which is which is the optically coupled so in that one it has a four pin ic input two pins are connected to this led and inside the inside that ic also there will be one led and one photo transistor so the blinking rate directly given to the microcontroller at a four pin so here if is there any high voltage generated a high voltage short circuit occurred then this o, uh, pc817 only will be damaged or microcontroller will be safe so that we can just replace that ic so that we can secure the microcontroller for that safety purpose we are using this pc817 optocoupler so the output from this one is input to the a4 pin and the system will calculate the kilowatt hour reading based on our uh, initial description and that will be displayed on the 16 by 2 lcd screen which is interface at pin number b22 b7 and wifi module to upload the same data into the thingspeak cloud platform uh, further we are using esp8266 which is interface at c6 c7 so the whole system run by this microcontroller along with crystal oscillator and reset switch so these three are the major components on this motherboard so the crystal oscillator purpose is to provide the clock pulse to the microcontroller so the purpose of the clock pulse is to execute the instructions like reading the data and upload the data display the data so these instructions need to be executed per instruction we need to provide one clock pulse so that the controller can execute them so here we are providing 20 mega heads of clock frequency means 20 mega pulses per second so that controller can execute 20 mega instructions per second so if is there any uh, instructions not executed properly then for restart purpose press and release the system will uh, starting onwards will be executed so here we are providing the 230 volts ac input from this cable to this regulated power supply board and to the energy meter parallelly so this uh, regulated power supply board consists of four stages one is the transformation and the next is rectification and next filtration and next regulation so the transformation two step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts ac and next rectification to convert the ac to pulsating dc and filtration to remove the pulses and we'll get the pure dc voltage and regulation we will get the 5 volts dc power supply so that is the main operating voltage to our microcontroller once we provide that it will start reading input from this pulse meter like uh, pc817 optocoupler so let us see the demonstration before on the kit we need to enable the hotspot in your phone for that go to hotspot settings right and change the hotspot name to project 5421 and all our small letters without any space and a password should be 1234569 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz so these three are the very important after that on the hotspot along with data and now log into the things play things speak right so while scrolling just we need to scroll from the middle of this graphs so now we can on the power supply to the system so then the load will get switched on and the system will display the welcome message on the lcd screen and also one device will be connected to your phone so we can see that one device is connected now right 
so things pick data will be uploaded for every 15 second of duration as it will accept the data in the duration of 15 second only so we got the data live data now right so if you want to erase the old data if you want to get the new data so before erase that you can download that for that purpose go to data import export and in that download the data so it will be downloaded in csv format and open so it consists of the how many number of entries till now done and field 1 is going to be the kwh and field 2 is the inr bill readings along with date and time will be there and now so we got the data now you can erase that go to channel settings and in that do only clear channel as i'm showing the options you need to execute them only no need to touch another option so that if you touch them then the system will malfunction and it won't reply properly right so channel settings clear channel data import export download and then private view so the old data cut erased wait for again 12 to 15 seconds duration the new data will be appeared on the screen So based on the load which we have connected on the energy meter, so the load will be increases. So as of now we have we place the 100 watts bulb here. Also we have placed the one LED on the C4 pin of our PIC microcontroller which will show the status of the system is running means the instructions or execution done is properly. We got the data based on your network speed so same speed will be applied for to upload the data into that when you touch that so we can see the billing details along with time and age right